we're going to talk about uh, common myths about boundaries, uh, some things that we tend to get wrong about establishing healthy boundaries and things that sometimes people get a little upset about, uh, about whether God's okay with the boundary that I might be setting. And uh, so we're going to talk about that. But if you'd like to uh, like us or follow us or participate in the conversation, you can do that. If you're watching this after the fact, again, you can leave a comment. We'd love to be able to get to know uh, what you're thinking. The other thing is that if you have an example of a great uh, healthy boundary that you set or someone else set in your life um, that has been useful for you, uh, please share it. We'd love to be able to get some examples and see what's going on. Um, I, I, was, I was reminded of early on when I was a teenager, um, there was a family that um, whose mom was so good at setting uh, this one particular boundary. And I remember that, you know, we went to school forever with her kids. And uh, as we got to be teenagers, we'd drive down to their house and we'd hang out and we'd uh, study, play games, just just have fun. But at nine o'clock, didn't, re didn't matter if you were in the middle of a game, if you're in the middle of a heavy report or a study project or whatever, nine o'clock, she stood by the door and she said, thanks for coming. And she'd open the door and you didn't leave at 9.05, you didn't leave at 9.10 or 9.15, nine o'clock, you were out of there. And it, it became uh, something that we kind of looked forward to. We knew it was coming. It was something that was that was uh, uh, fun. And we we enjoyed the the banter going for, forward with that. And she would, uh, like I said, she always had a sweet smile on her face. And um, and I've always thought about that. I've always remembered that. And yeah, I've used it many, many times. But that was a healthy boundary. You just knew that, hey, don't plan on a late night thing. Don't plan on something that's going to go on beyond nine o'clock because it's just not going to happen. And I just always thought that was kind of a healthy boundary um, to, um, especially as a, as a teenager. And, and it's, you know, that it was okay to do that. And other people may not do that. Maybe that didn't work for other families, but for her and for her family and for the situation and circumstances, it just kind of simplified things. So it's possible to have healthy boundaries and you can have fun with them. And that's, that's an okay thing too. I remember another time was when um, I had just started really in ministry and I was working with this seasoned pastor who had been around for a number of years and had uh, done ministry a long time. And we were just talking about schedules or something that was going on. And, and I said, and he said he wouldn't be around for the next day or whatever it was. And I said, oh, where are you, what are you doing? And he said, well, I, it's a personal matter. And I went, yeah, but what are you doing? And he said, it's a personal matter. And I got, I got the impression really quick that, okay, that's not, he doesn't want me to know. It's not my business. And, and he said in a very nice and very calm way, because that's the kind of person he was. Uh, but he just it basically is like, mind your own business. And I, and, and that was enough said, okay, got it. You know, and that's, it was, it was nice to see that you could set up boundaries in your life and, and around you that, you know, we're not being mean or unkind or, um, you know, you know, you weren't being snarky about anything. It's just that, you know, I'll, if you need to know, I'll let you know, but if you don't need to know, it's not, not your business. So having healthy boundaries is, is a really good thing. In like manner, I've seen some unhealthy boundaries where again, going, coming into to ministry, a lot of times I heard people say, you know, you got to sacrifice your family for the ministry, for God. You know, God comes first. And and the reality is that God does come first. But God set an order to things in that to love the Lord my God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And then uh, love your neighbor as yourself. But also in that, I made vows and God created the family. And I made vows to love, honor, and protect my wife and my family. And so I have, I get to love God. I get to love my family. And then I get to do ministry. It's in that order that um, is, a, is a healthy boundary. Now, some ministers haven't done that and haven't been able to do that or maybe have been taught, I think, poorly about that. But I have found that God's okay with that. And I think that there's biblical evidence to support that position. So those are some things that you had, you know, some w good intentions, but bad advice. And you have to kind of create some some healthy boundaries as a result of that. So those are just some thoughts that I wanted to throw your way. 
and kind of ask the question, you know, how good are you at setting boundaries in your life? Because if we don't set and if we don't set boundaries for us, we can get caught up in either adapting bad boundaries or letting someone else impose on us what they think are healthy boundaries. And as a result, our lives can really get screwed up because uh, we're doing something that someone else told us and we we think that, oh, well, that's what I got to do. And that that can be just a really messed up kind of thing. (laughs) <laughs> hey, thanks, April. Yeah, me too. I'm still working on my on my boundaries as well. So um, anyway, I guess, and that's part of it, is that it's okay to be working on things and reestablishing boundaries if they get violated or if they get messed up or if they get blown out of the water. It's okay to to do that, that um, God, God doesn't hate us. God loves us and God wants us to establish healthy boundaries. Um, and have you have you ever set a boundary in your life and you, and you think something like this that I don't know if I should have done that and you kind of start second guessing yourself like oh man I, I don't know if God's maybe I maybe I made God angry maybe I got made God mad maybe I shouldn't have taken you know done anything for myself for my own benefit so you have to ask yourself the question are your boundaries helpful are they useful uh, are they God honoring Um, Are they honoring to those people that you're around, that you're engaged with, that you are dealing with? Um, Are your boundaries biblical? You know, those are all important questions because a lot of times people think that God's just waiting for us to get out of line so he can bash us with a, um, you know, with a mallet or something like that because, you know, God really loves to get us when we step out of line or something along those lines. But healthy boundaries, from my perspective, healthy boundaries are often good decisions and often very pragmatic. You know, they're 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 good. They just make sense. It's like, well, yeah, that seems like a really good deal. Um, when you set when you set good boundaries, when you set healthy boundaries, no becomes an acceptable answer. Um, and I had I had to learn this in terms of ministry parameters. I'm a pastor. I'm kind of on call 24-7, or at least that's the way I was taught. And I had to learn that there were times when it wasn't practical for me to drop everything and go or say yes to everything. I had to learn to say, no, I can't do that. No, that doesn't work. No, that day's not a good day. No, I have something else scheduled. And if people ask me, well, what's going on? It's like, it's a personal matter. See, you learn from <laughs> from other people as well. I just really thank Ron Meyer to this day for for giving me that great advice. And uh, and shout out to Janie Rose in terms of uh, giving us the advice of kicking us out at nine o'clock at at her house. So Janie, thanks for that. Appreciate it. Um, But when you set boundaries, no becomes a a good answer. Um, No, I'm never going to do that. Or no, not right now. Or no, yeah, that's that doesn't line up with where we want to go or what I believe that God wants us to do. No can be a really healthy thing. So um, no is an okay answer. If you say no all the time, it might mean that you have unhealthy boundaries in other areas. Um, but but no can be an acceptable answer if it just it just doesn't work. So keep that in mind. Um, boundaries should be healthy. They should be beneficial. They should be informative. Um, they should create healthy habits. Um, you know, as a teacher or as a professor, uh, a, a healthy boundary is a deadline to get your work in on time. If you don't have that boundary there, believe me, they'll uh, students will will drag it out as long as they can. And I get that. I understand that. I mean, I like as much time on working on an assignment as it, as anyone. But you have to have those boundaries. So it's okay to have those things and get those things in mind. Um, another another aspect of unhealthy boundaries that's kind of a maybe a myth is this idea that um, you know that we should f- be in fear of the Lord. You know that um, you know that's a good thing, and so I'm I need to be afraid that if I get out of line, God's going to nail me. You know, there's there's a couple of different things about, especially when you're dealing with church and with Christians and all that. Um, the biblical thing, you know, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, the scripture tells us. Well, it's not fear in terms of being afraid of God, that God's going to n- nail me. 
it's this idea of fear of, of awe and reverence and respect and admiration and confidence. You know, all these things are, are kind of told, put into that. It's not that God wants us to be afraid of him. And sometimes it's taught or maybe even preached or written down that we should be fearful of God because, boy, you step out of line once and bam, you're going to get nailed. Um, that's an unhealthy boundary. We need to be respectful of God. We need to believe that God is a just God. He's a righteous God, that God hates evil and hates sin, but he loves people. And the majority of people are caught in sin and evil. And if God hated everyone that's attached to sin, well, what's the purpose of grace? Grace reaches into where sin is, where people are fallen and broken and messed up. God reaches in and brings us out because of his grace, because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. And so God cr crosses over through our unhealthy boundaries to reach us, to bring us out, and to help establish us in healthy boundaries, in healthy places. So that's kind of a, uh, something that you need to think about. So here's a myth that you might think as well. First one is that if I set boundaries, I'm being selfish. You know, that... Uh, you know, I should I should give myself completely to everybody else and completely to God. And yeah, we should give ourselves to God. Um, but God wants us to grow in him and to grow in God. You have to be able to, uh, again, establish priorities. You have to establish healthy habits. You have to establish uh, times of rest and times of study and times of interaction. I mean, yeah, all these things are particular boundaries that help us grow just like a you know a healthy regimen that you might have either in your own personal life or at a gym or healthy ways of eating or improving your mind and all those kinds of things um, that it, you can be selfish it's possible to be selfish but it just because you're taking care of yourself and establishing boundaries does not make you selfish in and of itself. Uh, someone said it this way, that selfishness has to do with a fixation on our own wishes and desires to the exclusion of our responsibility to love others. So it's not about, you know, me, 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 but it's about how can I establish parameters in my life that will help me grow and be healthier. Sometimes it's that I can do only so many things and then I have to say, I can't do another thing. And so for me, uh, you know, whenever I've gone up to people, it, often when I go up to people in my church, I'll, I'll say, hey, I've got this request, and I want you to know that no's, no is an okay answer. You know, if you got time, if you got the ability, if you got the strength and whatever to do this, great. If you don't have that, you can tell me no. I won't be offended. Um, and so no is, no is an okay answer. Uh, so when you have those appropriate boundaries, it, what it does is then it gives you the the freedom to say yes, but you also have the freedom to say no. So I, I think that those are important elements to keep in mind. Um, you know, God loves us and cares about us and wants us to be very much um, a part of what, what he, he's doing. And so how great to have the freedom in God to be able to grow in our relationship with him and not be fearful to, to say yes or no. Um, Someone said that just as a store manager takes good care of a shop for the owner, we're to do the same for our souls. We are to be stewards of our resources and of our lives. So we're to develop our lives, our abilities, our feelings, our thoughts, and our behaviors. And when we say no to people and activities that are hurtful to us, we are protecting God's investment and that there is a distinct difference between selfishness and stewardship. And part of the boundaries is us figuring out the difference between the two. So um, so don't be afraid to say no, but don't be afraid to say yes. Uh, it's okay. You know, you have to figure out what truly is, is useful for you and be aware of the fact that, um, that developing healthy boundaries in, in er every area of our life takes time and effort and some perspective and some objective uh, perspective as well. So if you can get the impact or the perspective of someone who's a friend or some other friends and say, you know, does this look healthy to you? Does this seem selfish? Does this seem like I'm moving in a good direction? Those can be helpful comments and helpful thoughts. 
well, I've gone beyond my time really quick. So anyway, there's so much to say about, about boundaries and being healthy. But I think probably the biggest thing that I would just leave tonight with is just this idea that it's okay to say no. If you're saying no all the time, that's unhealthy. But if if you feel like you're just really pushed and stressed and strained and 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 you, you, if you go one more thing, you're just going to go nuts. It's okay to say no. Uh, but if you're always saying no to the God stuff and yes to all the other stuff, that might be unhealthy too. So just think about, you know, what you're saying yes to and what you're saying no to. Anyway, again, if you have any comments, if you want to leave us a thought, if you have any great suggestions uh, in terms of healthy uh, examples, please leave them behind and we'd love to be able to look at them. And otherwise, we'll talk to you later and hope you have a great rest of your week. Take care.